Hey guys, it's me, Shannon, and it's about 10.20 in the morning already. Um, I remembered last night at 11.30 at night that I was tutoring this morning at 9 a.m. So I tutor um, two little girls that are going into second and third grade. Um, and I totally forgot that I was supposed to do that this morning. Luckily, I remembered last night, but at 11.30 I had no materials ready. So I got up early this morning and did that. Just got back from tutoring, got a package in the mail. I left, I think I mentioned my parents just moved to Texas and I went for a week when I first got off summer and helped them unpack and I left my apartment keys there in Texas when I live in California, so that's great. Luckily I had my spare key so I could get in my apartment, but my mom just mailed me the keys. So I had to go check my mail because I haven't been able to for a week. I originally had my rent checks being sent to my parents' house. Well, I didn't have that. I didn't want that, but they sent it there. And it was kind of a no big deal. My parents' house was 15 minutes away from my apartment. It was an excuse to go home. Um, but now my parents live in Texas. So I had them. I went in and I had them change it to have it mailed to me here, which makes sense. It's my apartment. Um, so this was the first month of them having to mail it here. And it didn't work. So I need to talk to them and figure out why that hasn't happened. It should be easy. They're mailing it to me and I live here and the mailing box is 10 feet away from the leasing center. Um, so hopefully we can figure that out, but that just means I have to go down and talk to them. So I'm not looking forward to that, but it needs to happen. So my apartment is really cold for some reason. I put the um, AC on low, well low for me because I get cold easily, but today it's not even that hot out. Like it's summer, it's almost July and it's Southern California. It should be 100 degrees outside and it's only 80 right now or not even, I think. Um, so my I turned the air off, but my apartment hasn't warmed up yet, so I'm in a blanket. But I just called, I made a nail appointment because look at how much they have grown out. That is ridiculous. Um, I get the powder, like the dip powder, and it lasts forever. I had this on for a month and they haven't cracked or anything, but they have grown out a ridiculous amount, so I think it's time that I go get them done again. Um, I just made an appointment. He said 12 o'clock, which is in 30 minutes. I'm going to go down to leasing center and see if they are open again and can talk to me about the bill. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because it takes about 10 minutes to drive there, so hopefully it doesn't take 20 minutes to talk to them. I doubt it, but who knows, so we'll see. I'm going to go to leasing center and then get my nails done. All right, I just got back from getting my nails done. I got this color. They look a lot better, not grown out half the way. I didn't go with yellow, I wanted it, but I do the powder um, and they don't have as many colors as normal. So they had a mustardy yellow, um, but I was looking for, I don't know, sunshine yellow. Um, I didn't even think that it's 4th of July this week, or else I would have done red or blue instead I did pink. But I completely forgot it was 4th of July until another person picking out their color was like, Oh, I guess I'll do red for 4th of July. And I'd already had, I was almost ready to walk out. I was done with my toes, done with my nails. I was like, oh, right, of course. Completely blinked on that, but at least it's like kind of red-ish, but mostly pink. But oh well, I guess they'll still look good, but it would have been cool to have done 4th of July colors. Um, I was going to get my eyebrows waxed, but I didn't schedule an appointment for it. And they're super busy, and so I didn't want to ask and have them have to like fit me in. Um, so I might go call another place and see if they can take me or not. Alright, so I just called another nail place that's down the street, and they said they can take me right now to get my eyebrows waxed. So I'm going to go get those done. They need it bad I can't remember the last time I got my eyebrows waxed probably over a year ago and I just try and pluck it but clearly do not do too well on that so it's much needed but they'll be really red probably next time you see me because they get extremely red like my face it's hot out so here are my red eyebrows and I guess I shouldn't have gotten my eyebrows done there because they are super skinny when I asked them not to be they are not the same length. This one ends right here. This one goes all the way down here. She didn't even trim the hairs. 
There's still some left here that I need to pluck when I get home. So I guess I should have just waited or done it myself because it's not even good. It doesn't, oh my god, it doesn't even look good. Well, I'm disappointed in that, but right next to this place is a massage place and I've never gotten a massage before ever in my life. And I don't know, I've been thinking about it just because, I don't know, sounds nice. Um, so I might look up if I can find a coupon or something. If I can't find a coupon, then I won't get one. But I've really been thinking about one. I'm already having nightmares about the first day of school and it's only not even July. Um, so I think I just need to relax, even though I'll spend money. Um, I kind of want to see one and at least ha get one for once. Um, so we'll see if I can find a coupon. Alright, I just went on to Groupon and I was able to purchase a... Massage today for at 3 o'clock was the earliest they had, which is in about 40 minutes, so I think I'm going to try to find something to eat in a restroom to use before I go, but it was only $42, which, I mean, it's a little more than I was expecting to spend, but I think for a massage, that's pretty good. It was the lowest one that was nearby me on Groupon, and I heard they have really good deals. Um, so, I'm going to get my first ever massage. I'm kind of scared. Don't know what I'm supposed to wear or not wear, because I'm in a dress, so I don't know how that's going to work, but we shall see. I think they're closing off this road to film a movie, or actually, I mean, it probably looks like a wedding. I know they film movies in this area, or uh, TV shows a lot. The show NCIS LA, I think, is the one, or the original one is filmed all the time on this little street here in the city I live in. So I thought maybe they're filming, but now there's all these chairs, so I guess, and tables. It looks like a wedding maybe, so I was wrong. So I just parked and I'm a late, but this idiot took up two parking spots and I have to walk all the way around the front to park in the back alley because there's no parking up front. And it's like a tiny little um, shopping center. And I go to the back and this dude's taking up two spots. Luckily, I found one, but now I'm like two minutes late. Uh-oh. I just got out of the massage, and it felt really good. Whoa, that sun is very bright. Um, it was really nice for my first massage, but I had so many knots that it kind of hurt at the same time, too, because she had to really dig in, like, with her elbow to get them out. Um, so I think if I got them more frequently, it would feel better because I wouldn't have so many knots and sore spots. Um... But it did feel nice. It was relaxing. I almost fell asleep and my contacts got all messed up because my eyes were closed for too long. But it felt nice. Now my skin's all oily and smooth my whole body. So I think I would start having them more regularly. Maybe once school starts and I'm actually getting paid. If it's only $45 a month. I mean, it's not too bad. Not necessary, but it'd be nice. So we'll see. All right, well, that's the end of my day today. It was a self-care day. Didn't really expect it to be, um, but I got my nails done, eyebrows done, which still are red, and I'm still not that help happy with, but oh well. The one good thing about bushy eyebrows is that they will grow back pretty quickly. Um, and then I got up my first ever massage, which was nice, but now I'm kind of sore, to be honest. So I don't know how I felt about it, but... Yeah, it was my self-care day for summer teacher, and yeah, thanks for watching, and like, and subscribe. Bye.